Hi fellas, thought I'd upload something non -com or less controversial in my first video. I regularly, I've been targeted for years by the woke fascists, so I thought I'd play the same side. Here we have an FNI RSI dual track oscilloscope, which I bought a few months ago for business. A business which was kiboshed by woke, and certain people I know already know. And on the top here, just out of shot, oh you can just see it, uh, there's a 3mm photo transistor, biased my own special way. Uh, there's no clues at all on, on Google, by the way. I had to do it, but it took weeks of experimentation, but I got there in the end. Here we have a TV remote. There we go, That's my new TV, big screen TV. And I'm just going to show you the infrared pulses off this. This is a, a regular squ a square wave. Should show it, yes, there we go. Oh, nice fucking blocks. I'll turn the gate down a little bit so we can see it. Um, Obviously, each signal, that, that's the volume up, each signal is different, and as long as the TV understands it, you know, you get the results you want, and the channel you want. Uh, that's, uh, that's program up. Um, here we have a, I'll try and show you, here we have a Bob Love, a weird name, a Bob Love laser rangefinder, which is a neat little thousand yard rangefinder. Um, the only problem being, it's too small for my old mechanic's hands. And I've got numbness in the fingers, so I'm always dropping it. And it's a very shiny surface. But as far as its function, functionality goes, it's brilliant. It also serves as a speed gun. It's a very accurate long range speed gun. Because it uses LIDAR technology. Uh, I'll, do, I'll, I'll sort of light up then. Yeah. Here we go. That's it. Each press, you get a short pulse train, like so. It's a very, it's a very tiny. Um, there we go. It's a very tiny. You know, it's only like a few minutes, a bit of gray or something. So it's quite hard to catch sometimes. I, mean, I can turn it up, but it's, it's even got a four volt signal, something like that. And here we have uh, a made in US laser speed gun. Um, I'm still capable of making these gadgets I used to make, but as I say, the business was completely kiboshed by, by a partner. Um, and a certain guy over in the US, you all know him. You know, this is an ultralight. 1990 speed gun. This fires a regular 125 hertz pulse. This is the same technology, by the way, that uh, that uh, SpaceX and what well, just police and the military use for laser range finding. Um, it was made in Britain, you know, ha <laughs> ha, made in England, uh, but with US finance. There was a US millionaire financed it. So that's a 125 hertz signal. I can turn this up to actually uh, 11 volts, believe it or not. <laughs> I don't need that for the gadgets I used to make. I wonder, oh yeah, I'll also show you, I'll show you this in a, a video later. I've also got this very old 1960, 1960 Evo meter. Again, made in England, proper old classic. My old World War II daddy had, uh, daddy O, as I used to call him, had uh, five of these, which he, which he kept when he left the, the civil service, when he left the, um, the military in, in, in the 70s, I think it was the late 70s I he left. He's a very clever dude, he can still draw you a working like transistor amplification circuit or valve circuit in, in like old age. And he could still do simultaneous equations and algebra in like in, in his late 60s and 70s. Amazing really. I've never been able to do them. <laughs> um, well, I've had health. I've only discovered recently I've had health problems all my life since I was about six six years of age. And uh, it's uh, kind of affected me over the years. But it's only been diagnosed for the last 30 years. So there we go. Let's try this again. There we go. So that's the volume up signal on a TV remote. And you have a professor. Well, have much, much of a muchness. We can't tell the difference. But the TV, as long as the TV or satellite can, you know, obviously you get the channel you want and the function you want. So I'll call it. Um, put, I usually do fairly controversial videos, but I thought for the first time I'll just do something, you know, showing off my electronic ability. As I say, it took literally weeks, it took weeks to get this, this 3 millimeter photo transistor bias and correct. Because all you get on, uh, it's still a bit of a black art about Thomas, all you get on Google is like loads of red herrings to put you off. Okay, see you guys. Bye bye.